What's going on, everybody? My name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This is a standalone. This is a standalone video wherein I'll be explaining to you all as to how to install C, C++, and Java, C, C++, and Fortran in your Linux operating system. So I'm going to use Ubuntu over here, but the command would be pretty much similar in any Linux distribution. Now the C, C++, and the Fortran compilers that are available in uh, Linux come and come from come from the GNU family. All right. So uh, these are so these are so fundamental and basic that uh, you don't have to go and f find them out on the internet. Rather, it is directly available in, from the terminal. So if you are using Ubuntu, just like me, uh, you just uh, need to open. You can get this done in the terminal. So let me just increase the size of it. All right. So all you have to do is just type sudo apt uh, install and then type gcc and then g++ plus uh, g++ plus plus and g fortran okay and press enter this will ask you for your super user password and press enter and there you go so depending upon when or uh, which version you are install using you will get these uh, uh, requirements now before i press yes i'll just want to tell you a little bit details so this one over here g++ plus plus hyphen 5 this is your uh, gnu's uh, C++ compiler and the version they have is 5. Point, uh, some, uh, the first version 5. There's a subversion of it like by version 5.4 or something like that that will come. Similarly, this is your main compiler uh, uh, package for your GNU C GNU C compiler GNU C. So G++ stands for GNU C C++. GCC stands for GNU C compiler and G Fortran stands for your uh, G, uh, GNU uh, Fortran compiler. And the other ones like libesn2, libatomic1, all of these are just all of these are support libraries that are required for for the install for the installation. All right. And similarly, there are other ones like this lib G Fortran library. This is for the develop development option. And here, it this will install the man pages so that if you have any questions regarding or any clar uh, any doubts regarding how to use GCC, Fortran, or G++, those will be taken care. All right, and uh, similarly, the, these are some standard C++ libraries, and this is the and the other one. This is the standard Fortran. And this is standard Fortran library, and this is the standard uh, C compiler library. Other than that, uh, it also suggests you to, that you can install these packages. Okay, these are nothing but the C uh, C++ com, uh, multi library package. The thing is, you can install either one. Either this multi-library package or the generic one. For most purposes, uh, you know, uh, having uh, the multi-library itself is good. A multi-library is not that required. You can get a, you can get away with this. This is more than enough. But of course, um, you're welcome to try. Now you just have to press yes, and uh, and the item afterwards it will just connect to the internet and then start downloading all the required packages. So let it start, and then I'll pause the video so that. Uh, you know you don't have to see through all of that all right I sorry this is a bit embarrassing uh, okay thank God it started now it's up to 10% I, I guess I guess I'll pause the video and come back in a moment hey guys now we're in the final stages of the installation now all the required packages are downloaded in one minute sometime and now we now these packages are being unpacked and are being installed in your operating system and we can see at the bottom about the progress bar so we are you now near to little more than 80 percent and that's it you just have to wait and there you go this now it's ready now if you see if you get messages like user bin g4 trend up update alternative to provide user bins f95 or f77 and all you're good to go and now once this is done what you can do is we can check it we can check in the terminal itself whether they are available so just type uh, which g fortran by default it will show you this user bin g fortran all right and uh, similarly you can type which gcc you will get gc you will get a gnu c compiler and then you can type which g plus plus and you'll get your c compiler and to just to verify as to which compiler they are the version just type g, g plus plus and afterwards just type version with and press enter you should get some you should get a header message something like this uh, it will have the compiler name the operating system operating systems name 
and the version number and version number and uh, information like this and if you get something like that with a banner stating uh, stating this uh, the standard banner you're good to go likewise this banner will be there for C, you know, C compiler and for the Fortran compiler as well. Okay, most likely if you have these coming, you're good to go and everything is ready. All right, so that's how you install uh, C, C++ and Fortran compiler from the GNU family in your in your Ubuntu operating system. Uh, if you're using some other uh, operating system, uh, Linux distributions like Fedora, Fedora instead of uh, if I remember right, instead of apt. You have to use yum, and if you're using uh, Arch Linux distributions, I guess you have to ins use uh, install minus s. Okay, okay, sudo sorry, not install sudo pacman minus s minus s and get it done. And that's that's about it. You just have to change the installation uh, manager, that I mean the package manager, and that will take care and that will take care of the installation, and you're good to go. Alright, so that's all I have for you all in this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time with another interesting video. Uh, till then, take care.